What's up y'all, my name is Kyron and this is our DIY cargo trailer conversion that we now officially call home. I built this thing out over the last year and a half for me, my girlfriend and our dog to live in full time and travel the US. This thing is finally finished and I'm very excited to share that with you. So let's head inside and check it out. All right, so before we actually get into the tour of the trailer, first, I just wanna give you some high level details about this trailer specifically, so you can reference back on that information. So we are in a 20 foot long cargo trailer that's eight feet wide and seven and a half feet tall. Now those are the measurements before we add our insulation and our walls. And we have two inches of foam board insulation on all of our side walls and our floor. And that gives us a R13 value. Now on the ceiling, we have three inches of foam board insulation and that gives us a R17 value. So inside the trailer, after you add the insulation and after you add your final walls, that makes the length of the trailer still 20 feet long. The inside usable space is now seven and a half feet wide and seven feet and one inch tall. Okay, so that's the interior dimensions of this cargo trailer. Now, as we get into the tour, you'll see that we got most common things that you'll find in a house like running water, hot water, a shower, a toilet to use a restroom, a fridge to keep our food cold, an oven and a stove to cook, a sink to clean everything, a queen mattress to sleep on, a workstation, a pantry, storage for our clothes, a full electrical system that's powered by the solar panels on the roof, and so much more. So basically we have everything that we need inside the trailer to live on our own without needing to connect to any RV park or anything like that. That's a huge game changer for us because I see what RV parks look like nowadays. They're like jam packed, like sardines in there. And I would not want that to be us. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the tour and get after it. All right, now, as soon as you walk inside the trailer, the first section that you come to is right here. And this is where our closet is at, our entire electrical system, the shower and the bathroom all live right here in this section of the trailer. Now this is the front side of the trailer. So the nose is facing this direction and we have a V nose trailer. So the front is not flat like a normal trailer is, uh, it has a V nose. So it looks like this. If you stand from the outside, it has a, a point to it. So building around that was uh, a bit challenging for sure. Um, trying to cut around the angles and get everything to fit and align and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm happy to say that I think it turned out good and I am pleased with the way that it looks and functions for us. Right here is our closet. And this is where the majority of our clothes live. Things that need to get hung up like jackets, motorcycle riding jackets, pants, all that kind of stuff. They get hung up right in here. And right below all the clothing, you see we got shoes down there. And there's actually a shoe rack, which is basically just a shelf that I built out to allow us to put our shoes on top of. So we have storage for our shoes and they don't have to stay out on the floor and look like crazy and dirty and all that kind of stuff. Also inside here, you'll see we have our laundry bag. So that's where our dirty clothes lives. So every time we take off our clothes and they're dirty and stuff, we just throw them right in the bag. And when it's time to do laundry and go to the laundromat, we just take that bag with us and other bags that we have and go do laundry. Uh, also inside here, we have a broom and a Swiffer. Uh, and I like that because it's tucked away. It's kind of stowed. Uh, you don't see it outside. It's not laying around anywhere. It has a home, it has a place where it lives at. And when we need to use it, we just pull it out, do our thing with it, and then put it back where it needs to go. So right below the closet, you'll see our electrical system down here. And this is where all of our major electrical components live that give power to the trailer. And for me, I wanted that to be a piece of the project, a visual piece, because I did put a lot of hard work and effort into this electrical system. And it was my very first time doing it. And I was pretty excited and happy with the way it turned out. So I wanted it to look cool inside the trailer and not just be something that's like stored away and just forgotten about because uh, that is a lot of hard work right there so we have 400 amp hours of lithium battery 
We have a 3000 watt inverter slash charger, which is by Victron Energy. We have an MPPT charge controller. We have an AC and DC distribution panel, which is really cool because it combines your 120 volts AC circuitry and your 12 volts DC circuitry into a nice little box. So it's all in one housing compartment. And then we have a shunt, which connects to our battery monitoring system, which allows us to see information about the batteries, like how much percentage we have left, how much the solar panels are charging and all that kind of information. And then what you can't see here is what actually brings power to all of this stuff, which is on top of the ceiling or on top of the roof. And that is a thousand watts of solar that we have on top of the trailer. So we have five 200 watt panels on top of the roof, and that's what actually pulls the power from the sun and sends it down into this entire electrical system. Now, if we move from there, you'll see right here, we have our shower. This is where we come and get clean, take a shower when we're out hiking and doing all that kind of stuff to come in here, get showered up, get clean real quick. And that really honestly is a game changer living in a space like this because this is our full-time home. We live in this full-time and we travel, we work, we do everything inside the trailer. So a shower was an absolute must for us because uh, we, don't, we don't stay at campgrounds, right? Like we stay on public land, we boondock. That's how we travel. We just stay on free land and that's it. Uh, so to have a shower in the trailer is an absolute game changer for us. It's been huge. The door for the shower is our retractable Nautilus shower door. And so far that thing is really good for us. Uh, supposedly self wiping, self cleaning and stuff. So when you open it, it wipes off the water from it. So it doesn't grow like mildew or mold and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that has been very helpful for us keeping things dry. Cause that's very, very important. So below this video, I'm going to leave as many links as I can to items that I have inside of this conversion that I personally use and that I would personally recommend. So check the description below this video and a lot of what you may be looking for hopefully is going to be there. I'm going to put as much as I can down there, I promise you. So just read through and find what you need. If you do want to get in contact with me, I'm also going to leave a link for that so you can reach out to me whether that's for a consultation or if you have a question or you just need help with something, just reach out to me. I'm going to drop a link below and I will be more than happy to assist you and be a resource to the community. So, all right. So if we pivot over here, you'll see this is our bathroom section of the trailer. So we have a mirror on this front side and that was an absolute must because Zoe required a mirror to be put in here. And this happened to be, I think, the perfect place for that. And I wanted this mirror to serve as more than just a mirror uh, because in the bathrooms that I've been in, uh, most of them have medicine cabinets where a lot of like your common things go, like your deodorant, toothpaste, floss, all that kind of things that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but I wanted to incorporate something like that inside the trailer. So basically what I did was I used the mirror and behind the mirror, I built a uh, built-in medicine cabinet if you will so as you see here this is where we keep you know simple items that we use on a day-to-day -day basis toothbrush toothpaste eye drops q-tips all that kind of stuff and this really just gives us quick access to anything that we need in here without needing to go through a drawer or a cabinet or anything crazy like that so i just built it right into the door and that has worked great for us i'm really a fan of that quick easy access and uh, yeah, you even got a, a full mirror to check out your swag or whatever it is that you want to look at. So if we open the door to the restroom, you'll see that we have our composting toilet. This is how we use the restroom inside the trailer. So this basically has two different compartments, one compartment for your waste, so your solids, and then another compartment for your liquids where your pee goes. And when your pee gets filled, you just pick it up lift it out go dump it in the wood line somewhere and when your waste gets full you basically get a trash bag and you dump it all into that trash bag and then throw it away and get it out of here now that for us has been working amazing uh, we don't have any smell that comes from the toilet no smell of pee no smell of poo or anything like that and that's because it has a little hose right here 
that connects to the toilet and also goes outside of the trailer with a little fan inside. So it's continuously pulling air from the toilet and sending it right outside the trailer. And that really, really helps a lot with the smell. Like I said, we don't smell anything in here while we're using the restroom uh, unless Zoe just has a, a really, really bad day uh, on the toilet. Then I might, might get a sniff. But yeah, so uh, it's not necessarily the largest space, you know, in here, but it works for us. Uh, you go in there, you have enough space to sit down, you do your business. It's separate from the shower and you get out, you close the door and you don't even come in here again and see any of these restrooms. So uh, another little cool thing in this bathroom is the map on the wall right here. So Zoe designed this bathroom right here and she wanted to have a map to show us not only where we have been, but where we have that basically. So every time we're somewhere and we use the restroom, we'll just scratch off that state and that shows us, hey, that we've been there and we actually uh, took a uh, in that spot. So kind of, kind of funny. All right. Now, if I spin you around this side of the trailer towards the front door, you're actually looking at the side of the pantry. This is our pantry right here. And this is basically like a monitoring station. So a lot of our monitoring equipment lives right here. So um, the battery monitor lives right here. So that's very helpful to see information about the batteries, like the percentage of battery you have left how much it's being charged, how long until it dies, and a bunch of other information. It's all displayed right here on this device, and that's very, very helpful. Uh, if you have any kind of electrical system, that is, in my opinion, an absolute must, so you know how much power you have. So right below that, I have two water gauge monitors. So one is for our fresh tank, the other is for our gray tank, and that just shows us how empty or how full either of those tanks are. So we know when we got to go get more water or we know when we have to open up the gray tank and let that water rush out. Now, our fresh water tank that we have in the trailer is a 100 gallon capacity, which is, I guess, relatively speaking, pretty big for a small space like this. And that water for us lasts anywhere from about two to three weeks before we need to refill that tank up. Um, but that is... That is living semi-conservative with the water. I mean, you're washing your hands with a smaller stream than you would at your house. You're taking a shower, water on, turn the water off, scrub up, turn it back on kind of thing. So uh, I'd say that's kind of a uh, moderate usage. The gray tank is a 40 gallon capacity. So whenever our water from the shower and the sink runs to that gray tank, when that gray tank gets full, we have to empty that out and we just open the little valve down there and it'll empty out all that water for you. Uh, to the right of that, we got our light switches, which controls the overhead lights in here inside the trailer and also our porch light, which is on the front side of the trailer. And that does a really good job at lighting this place up at nighttime, which is very helpful. Uh, then to the right of that, we have our wireless propane tank monitor. So basically there are two sensors that connect to the propane tanks in the front of the trailer. And when you want to know how empty or how full those are, you just come here, click these buttons, and it shows you how empty or how full those propane tanks are. So you know when you need to refill them, bring them into town, get some more propane. So that's extremely helpful for us. Right below that, I've got the Level Pro, which is a leveling tool. So basically it connects to your phone via Bluetooth and there's an app. And it'll show you exactly how off balance or off canter the trailer is. So if the front is low and it needs to come up, it'll tell you how many inches it needs to come up. If the side and side is off balance, it'll show you, hey, the right side is up three inches. So that makes leveling the trailer when we get somewhere just super easy. I mean, it makes it a lot, lot easier than having to do a bunch of other old school methods and stuff. So. Uh, that's a highly recommended item if you are building a trailer or any kind of conversion or whatnot. You need to know what level is because there are components in here that require things to be level, like our fridge, for example. So having a tool to know when you are dead level is, to me, very, very important. So, uh, And then below that, you see we got little storages and stuff, so little knickknacks that we uh, use when we go in and go out. We just throw them right there. And then right above that, we have some plants right here, some air plants, some regular plants. Uh, one of them has died already on us, uh, but the other two are still alive. So we'll see how long that lasts. And also you'll see uh, behind me, 
the door here, we've got these black nets. So these just unclip and they fold together or they come down together and they magnetize in the middle so it holds closed. And this is just really helpful for bugs and stuff whenever you want to have the door open but you don't want mosquitoes or bugs or gnats and all that kind of stuff to try and fly in a trailer. You just drop that down and you can have the door wide open and you gotta worry about bugs coming in here. So that I think is another uh, very, very helpful piece to have to a conversion or a trailer or RV or whatever it is that you got going on. So, And this door that you see here, this is just some wallpaper I picked up at Home Depot, put that on there. Just tried to bring a little more shape, a little more flavor, a little more color, a little more uh, personality, I guess, to the place. And I like the way that that looks now. So welcome to our kitchenette area. This is where everything kitchen related lives inside the trailer. So we have our refrigerator, freezer, we have our stove slash oven, we have our sink with running water. Everything works normal as it does in a house. We have storage underneath the sink, which holds a lot of our cleaning supplies, dog food, all that kind of stuff. But an important thing to notice down here is the fire extinguisher. That is important in a trailer or an RV because if something does happen and there is a fire, you need to be able to put that fire out. So I got it right there quickly and easily accessible. Just open the door, unlatch it, do whatever you need to do with it. Uh, overhead cabinetry, everything is on gas struts. So a simple pull like that lifts everything right up. Grab what you need, close it down, clips right into place and holds shut while you're driving and stuff. All the drawers over here pull out, everything fully functional. That holds a lot of our utensils, our pans, uh, supplies that we cook with. It all lives in those drawers right there. And then you got the backsplash, which is another Home Depot purchase. Uh, just wanted to kind of bring some nice, lively color inside. In a weird way, it kind of makes us feel like we're outside while we're inside. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's kind of cool. And then this window that you see right here is actually an emergency escape window, which for me was very important because before this, we only had one way to get in and out of the trailer, which is that door. So if anything were to happen to the trailer and it were to tip over and land on the door side, we would literally be trapped inside the trailer. And I know that's unlikely to happen. It's probably not going to happen, but I wanted to have something on the other side. So that way, if that did happen, we can still just open this window up, hop out, and get out of here. Now, I don't think I said this yet, but everything that you see inside this trailer is built from scratch. Absolutely from scratch. There's nothing that was purchased from Ikea, no furniture imported from Walmart or anything like that. It was all from scratch. Okay. And these countertops that you see are basically plywood cut to size. And then I glued a laminate sheet right over the top of that routed the edges and all that kind of stuff. And that is what you see for our countertops. All the doors, everything you see in here is cut to size personally by me and then painted over and sealed and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, everything in here from scratch. That's why it took a long time to do this, I think. Uh, and it was all my very first time doing everything in here. I've never done flooring. I never done plumbing, I never done electrical, I never done woodworking, I never done any of that stuff. So uh, yeah, a lot of lessons were learned along the way, but uh, it was fun. You know, I, I, I gained a lot of skill from it, so I'm happy that it uh, turned out the way it did. So. so our refrigerator and freezer is basically a normal size fridge and freezer. When I say normal, I guess I don't mean normal like a residential refrigerator or freezer. I think this thing is actually about 10 cubic feet in side dimensions, uh, but it has a freezer, it has a fridge, and it keeps things frozen and cold for us, allows us to uh, travel and have real food that we can actually cook inside the trailer, which is a big time game changer. Now this oven that you see here, oven slash stove combination, this thing is a propane appliance, so it runs off of propane. Uh, the same propane bottles that are on the front of the trailer. That's what this is connected to. That's how it gets the propane that it needs. And there are three burners on the top. There's an oven. And this thing has been amazing for us. It allows us to cook actual good meals while living on the road. 
Um, we don't need no cereal boxes and peanut butter jelly sandwiches all the time. We actually cook real good food in here. Uh, so that has been huge for us. Very, very helpful. Uh, very thankful for that product. On top of the refrigerator, you'll notice we have a microwave here. This is a regular residential microwave so we can heat up all our food while we're on the road. And that is also powered by the solar power bank that we have. So everything electrical in here is all coming from the battery bank, which is recharged by the solar panels on top of the roof. So this is now our bedroom area. This is where we sleep. And this is a queen size mattress that we sleep on here. And it works perfectly for the both of us in here. We have a fan up there and that just helps circulate the air in here. That rotates, it oscillates when it's turned on. Uh, when it does get a little warm, it is nice to have some airflow. And that is one of the ways that we help uh, facilitate airflow up in here. Um, and below the bed, you'll see we have these cubby type things. Uh, that's because the bed is actually floating. It's a platform style bed that I built. And underneath here, we have some storage uh where we keep more clothing in here small items i keep some videography things all kind of jazz in here but basically there are bins that pull out and you can store whatever you want in there and just kind of tuck them underneath the bed and funny story actually this entire layout here has changed uh just like other things in the trailer when i was building the trailer like i said this is my very first time doing anything like this so there was a lot of mistakes made there was a lot of rethoughts and things like that but one of the things that I initially had here was a couch. So I built a couch underneath this bed platform and the bed platform lifted up and underneath it was a couch. But after taking our first trip in here, we realized uh, we don't really use the couch like that. Uh, we prefer kind of sometimes just hop on the bed or sit in the chairs and watch TV or whatever it is that we're doing. So. Um, we also needed a new place for the water tank because originally the water tank was mounted underneath the trailer or hundred gallon water tank. Uh, but after some issues that I had with that, I decided to move it back inside. So the water tank, the hundred gallon water tank that we have actually lives underneath these shelves. So this white uh, wall that you see the fresh water tank is actually right there inside the trailer and I tried to move it as close as possible to the axles to help distribute that weight it is on the rear side of the trailer but usually when we travel travel we just empty the water tank and when we get close to wherever we're going then we'll fill it up so that way we're not driving with a lot of weight towards the rear of the trailer um, so yeah, that's worked great for us. Had no problems with that at all. Then you'll see we have some storage over here at the feet of the bed. That's where we keep some more clothes. Um, they're in bins similar to like what you see right here. Another thing to note back here is this back wall that you see, uh, since this is a cargo trailer, that entire door drops down. So on the back side of it, I've got legs that hold it parallel with the floor, but the entire door drops down and then we have another net right there to keep bugs out. So it's kind of hard to see on the camera right now, I think, but there's actually a net that's up on that back wall. So that keeps out bugs, mosquitoes, gnats, all that kind of stuff. Whenever we drop that door to enjoy that view out the back, um, we can do that without having a bunch of bugs and stuff inside, you know, disturbing us. Another thing to mention is our air conditioner. So we have a mini split air conditioner right here on the wall, and that is an air conditioner and a heating unit. So we can use that to either heat the place up or cool the place down when it's hot. And then right here, uh, you could kind of see it over here, but there's a little hole right here. And I haven't, I haven't closed that off, honestly, because it's kind of been helpful. But underneath this bed platform is where our garage lives. So when I drop that door in the back, you'll see the garage. But uh, we keep a whole bunch of storage and stuff underneath the bed. Once you drop that door, you can access it. But this little opening allows us to quickly grab things that are within arm's reach that we may need from the garage. So that's actually been kind of cool. So I just left that to be what it is. All right. So we are now officially in our work section of the trailer. So this is our work desk. Uh, we do both work remote so we can work on the road full time. Uh, which allows us to live this type of lifestyle. But yeah, so we basically got two uh, chairs that we 
set up right here. Zoe will have her laptop on this side. I have mine over there and I'll do what I do over there. She'll do what she does right here. And yeah, we also have a whiteboard right here. I am very um, purpose driven, very goal oriented type of person. So I need to have things written down, things I'm going to be doing, things I need to achieve, all that kind of stuff. So this whiteboard for me is, that's very, very important. We have a window right here so we can look out wherever we're parked up and posted up at. If it's a nice view, we can look out the window while we're working at our desk. Just helps break things up, helps you not feel like you're living inside of a box, literally. So uh, that's pretty helpful. Uh, this TV that you see, this is a pretty big, pretty big screen TV that we got in here. And this entire thing is on a pivot mount. So this whole thing can come off the wall. It can turn left. It can turn right. I mean, the thing comes out like I think like 42 inches off the wall. So you can position that however you want. And right above the TV, you see there's a sound bar. This is uh, something that I built, which I thought was, again, kind of cool. Uh, but basically the sound bar moves with the TV. So whenever you move the TV around, the sound bar stays with it. Um, so that provides a good dramatic theater like experience in here. Whenever we're watching TV or movies or whatever it is that we're watching, definitely, uh, sounds real good in a small space like this. I like that. So another thing you might be able to notice, uh, right over here. So this is technically an ottoman i built out and that was going with the couch concept that i i changed around and i'm not going with but this ottoman now serves as our stepping stool to get on top of the bed um but then below it we have the dog's food and water bowl right underneath here so it's stowed just in its own little section it's not in the way of anything when we're walking around or anything like that it's just in its own little home and that has worked very well for us also, what's hidden underneath that that you cannot see is the diesel heater. So the diesel heater in this trailer has been game changing for us. We have stayed in places where we have been snowed on, where it has been below freezing, single digits at nighttime. And this diesel heater that we have is amazing. It'll be 10 degrees outside and it'll literally be like 75 degrees inside the trailer. So. I, I live by the diesel heater and I swear by that thing. So if you ain't got one and you're trying to stay warm in colder months, get a diesel heater. But basically that lives underneath the seat and the little vent right here. This is where the hot air comes out of uh, and that circulates the hot air through the trailer and whatnot. And I also I actually have a video from our first winter storm in the trailer. I'll link that in the video right here, I believe, or right here, wherever it's at. But you can click that link after this video and check it out. Uh, it was a fun trip, definitely a good time. Uh, some other things to mention in this workspace area that you may not be able to notice. Uh, we have our router right here. So this is our Starlink router. So this is how we get internet inside the trailer. Basically, there's an antenna that gets set up outside. There's a cable that runs inside and you connect to this just like you do at your house with your regular router and all your data goes through your antenna to satellites and a whole bunch of other crap. Uh, next to that, we have our signal boosting antenna right here. That's a Wii Boost antenna that we use, and that thing also works very good. If you don't have cell signal or you have very little cell signal, that thing basically amplifies and boosts that signal that your phone is trying to receive and send and uh, makes you have a stronger connection, more or less. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. All right, y'all, that is just about going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you for hanging out this long, checking out this video. This was something that I spent the last year and a half of my life working on. And during that process, there was a lot of hardship. There was a lot of challenges. There was a lot of headache. But at the end of the day, it's all finally done. And we are now living in this thing that I built with my own hands. And I'm very grateful, blessed, and thankful for that to be now the reality here. So thank you for watching the video. I hope to see you stick around on the channel. I do got more content that I plan on putting out and more experiences that I like to share with you all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and share it with somebody who you think would find actual joy and inspiration from a build like this. Best of luck, y'all. Travel safe, and maybe we'll see you on the road one day. Peace out. Like I'm a kid. Yeah. Wake up, get up, stretch my 
Lays, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, start my 